Happy Sabbath, children. And happy Sabbath, parents. Okay, in this month of March, Gradual B are responsible for telling us the children's story. We have been doing the fundamental beliefs, and now we are doing fundamental belief number 19. And who can tell us the fundamental belief number 19? What does it tell us? Oh, God. Wow, well done, the law of God. Thank you very much. And who can tell us what we did the first Sabbath of the month? Teacher Felice, can you remember what she taught us? About faithfulness. Wow, she said about faithfulness. Yes, well done. We did God's commandments. How many commandments do we have, children? How many commandments are there? Yes? The Ten Commandments. Thank you. Wow. Well done. There are Ten Commandments. And who can tell us what Teacher Sharon taught us last Sabbath? Anyone who remembers what Teacher Sharon taught us last Sabbath? Parents, children, we can help our children. Anyone who can? Yes? She talked about, um, about the the rules of God. Yes, teacher Sharon taught us about the story of Samson. Do you remember Samson in the Bible? Do you remember Samson in the Bible? What do you remember about Samson in the Bible? Anyone who can tell us? What do you remember? Anyone who can tell us? What do you remember about Samson in the Bible? What teacher told us? He was Strong. Yes, he was strong, but Samson was only strong outside, but he was very weak inside. He was very strong outside and very weak inside. And today, we are going to learn about being faithful to the end. And before we start, I would like one child to pray for us, someone who has not talked Someone who has not said anything to pray for us? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for letting others to come to church. And help them to learn the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you. Well done. Yes, today we are going to learn about the story of Daniel, being faithful to the end. What is the title of our story today? Again, children? Yes, being faithful to the end. We know that Daniel was held captive in a place that was called Babylon. And though he was very, very far away from home, even away from his parents, Daniel remained faithful to the end. He remained faithful to the end. And remember that when Daniel arrived in Babylon, after they had worked for a very, very long time, and from, they had come from very, very far. They had come from very, very far. When they arrived in Babylon, the king was happy. The Israelites had very capable, they had wonderful capabilities, and so the king was happy to receive them. And Daniel and his friends were very, very hungry. Do you smile when you are hungry? We don't smile when you are hungry. When you are hungry, you are very sad, and you just want mommy and daddy to give you food to eat. But the king had prepared the, in Babylon, the food that was prepared was not good food. It was food that God does not want us to eat as Christians. Do you think Daniel ate the food that the king offered? Did Daniel eat the food that the king offered? No, though he was hungry, he remembered that God says that we don't eat some of these bad foods. Is there any bad food that you know? So that when your friend is giving you the bad food, you don't eat. Junk food is bad. 
Wow, yes, junk food is not good for our bodies. Any other food that is bad for us? Pizza. Yes, pizza. Pizza is not good for us. Thank you. Any other bad food? Parents, please don't buy pizzas for your, for your children. They know pizza is not good for our bodies. Which other bad food do you know? I say. Yes, pork. pork. Yes, he says pork is not good for our health. Please don't buy pork for our children. They know pork is not good for our bodies. Anything else? Chocolate. Even chocolate is not bad for us. Parents, chocolate is not good food for our bodies. What do you think, what did Daniel ask the king to give them? What did Daniel want to eat? What did they say they, they want to eat? Some of the good foods that we know. Any good food that you know? Any good food that you know? No. <laughs> okay. Any good, that, any good food that we know? Salad. Salad is very, very good for our bodies. Anything else? Fruits. Fruits are very, very good for our bodies. And after 10 days, they were strong and they looked more mighty than all the people. And they were also clever. So when we eat good food like salad, the fruits, the maize, even the boiled one, we become strong and we become very, very smart. So parents, let us not give our children junk food, including the chocolate, is not good for us. Okay, and now, the next time, what happened to Daniel when he was still living there, the king made a law. And he said that for the next 30 days, everybody should only pray to the king alone. And this means that Daniel had to stop to pray for who? To, to pray to God. Do you think Daniel obeyed that? Do you think Daniel obeyed? Daniel did not obey Daniel still remembered that. God said, law number one. Who can tell us law number one, what it says? Law number one? Law number one? Yes? Worship God. Worship God. Well done. Law number one says, worship God only. only. It is only God that we should worship. We should not worship anyone else or anything else apart from God. So Daniel did not obey. Daniel continued to do what? To worship God. And you know what? The king was not happy. The people of Babylon were not happy. Do you know what they did to Daniel? Do you know what they did to Daniel's children? They tied Daniel and they threw Daniel inside a big hole. And inside the hole, there were lions. Have you ever seen a lion? Have you ever seen a lion? Yes, a lion is very big and a lion can eat us, okay? But you know what? Daniel remained faithful. And even when he was inside the lion's den, when Daniel entered there, he did what, children? He, he kneeled and he continued to do what? To pray. And he prayed, dear God, please protect me. Do you know what? God heard Daniel's prayers and God protected who? God protected Daniel. Do you see that God answers our prayers? Even when you are in the very, very most difficult situations, God is still our friend. God still listens to our prayers. So children, do not be scared. Even if you are scared, you do what? You kneel and you pray and you ask God for protection. And God keeps his promises. And as Daniel continued living in Babylon, he continued to be wise. He continued to praise God. He continued to pray. And Daniel became even a governor. In which place? In a strange place country, in a strange land. He continued to be faithful and he became what? A governor. So I want us to sing one song that I have heard your word and I have what? I have what? So we all need to eat God's word. That means we need to study God's words 
Every day, every day we need to read our Bibles, we need to pray, and we need to treasure God's Word. Okay, children? Yes, thank you very much. So I, we will sing the song, and then I will invite one of our child to pray for us, and then we'll finish our story. I've heard your word, and I've, hum, I've eaten it, I've eaten it. I've heard your word, and I've eaten it. I've flip it down in my heart. I've heard your word, and I've treasured it. I've treasured it. I've treasured it. I've heard your word, and I've treasured it. I've put it down in my heart. Amen? That is the end of our story. So I would request one of us to pray for us. Who will pray for us? Please come here and pray for us. Please just come. Please come. Okay. Thank you very much. So you'll pray for us, and then she'll pray. Okay. Okay. Let's pray. We think for the day, think the day, think the next day. Today is Saturday, so please can you bless us for taking us to church so we can have a nice day. Amen. Amen. Well done. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a good day. And thank you for having us a good day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, the last one we pray. Our fruits. Okay, amen. Thank you. Bye. See you next Sabbath.